friends, this is Bella Gemma Nails, and I am bringing you part two of the What's in My Bag. Uh, no. <laughs> Hi friends, this is Bella Gemma Nails, and I'm bringing you part two of my bag collection video. This is going to be a Halloween edition because I am going to a party in about five minutes. So I'm going to have to film this 20 minute video in five minutes. So let's see how we do. Let's get started. The first bag I want to share with you guys is a bot here, and this is an electric blue graded leather, and it is super duper soft. I probably have used this bag once and have put it away and have had really no use for it, simply because it's hard to match, although you really don't need to match your bags with your outfit per se, but this color is so bright and it's bold and it makes a statement in itself. I just don't know how to combine it that well, unless I have some like electric yellow or metallic yellow shoes, then that would be ideal. So that's the first bag. Second bag I have for you all is an Adrian Vitadini. This bag is older than dirt, but I love it very much because it has wooden handles and I am fond of wooden handles, especially when they're so unique like this. This bag is truly old, but what I love is that it has a matching wallet as well, and that's always fantastic to be able to get the matching wallet. So this bag has been with me a long time, and it still looks beautiful like the first day I bought it. I love the color combination, and I think it's a very unique print, and so I've kept it all this time, and it very seldom gets used, but. Nonetheless, gorgeous bag. A little side note, I've never dressed this scantily clad for a Halloween party, but it is a lace, lace theme party. So I thought, hmm, when in Rome, let's continue with the bags. The next little bag I have for you all is a clutch. And it is an orange clutch that has just the perfect amount of color. And it's very understated but it's big and it's somewhat bold and sturdy, beautiful, comes in handy. And the brand, this is from Italy and it was a beautiful gift from a dear friend. And it just says, made in Italy eight. So love this bag, wear it with jeans, casual and or a night out. So that's the third bag. The fourth bag I have for you all is a vintage bag. This is from Whitey Davis with the tortoise shell handles and the chain uh, detailing. Now, they're known for their chain bags. They've been around forever, and I think this bag is, if I'm not mistaken, 75 years old, something to that effect. It's super old, but I bought it because I thought it was gorgeous. It doesn't get much use, but I love tortoise shell handles they look beautiful and combined with this chain for as old as it is it is still in fantastic shape and i do love vintage bags as well so this is a perfect example of one the next bag i have for you all is a vince camuto handbag this bag is a very structured bag so not really my favorite style because of the same reason i put so many things in a bag that this is a little too small for me but it is gorgeous. The mixture of colors between the gray, the black, and the blue just make this bag gorgeous. And it has a little stud detailing here and it's leather, gorgeous, structured. It's been used maybe about once, twice maybe. So that's the next bag for you. The next bag I have for you all is this gorgeous Love Cat bag. Now this bag, I don't know if this brand is still around, but it is gorgeous. Didn't get used very often. How I managed to scratch the back is beyond me, but if you could see here, the reason I purchased it is because of the heart detail. This, this uh, tassel is from another bag, which I sold and I kept it because I thought it looked rather nice and it is a gorgeous bag. I don't know if Love Cat still exists, if I'm not mistaken, this bag may be a Korean brand, but it is made beautifully and I love it, but it never ever gets used. And this bag may be 15 years old, 15, 16. So it is definitely beautiful, but vintage now. The next bag I have for you all is the Billy Bag London. This bag is crock embossed with 
brown suede. It is a perfect bag if you want to wear just denim jeans and some perfect heels and a white t-shirt. It is structured rather nicely because you could fit a whole bunch of stuff. I haven't used it in a long time. This is a very old bag as most of my bags are. are. So yes, this is a Billy bag. The next bag I have for you all is a lovely Laydu. Actually, I don't know if it's called Laydu. Deluxe, maybe? Deluxe, something to that effect. I have stuff in it. Let me take that out. But I love this bag because you can combine it with anything and I do actually wear this bag often. And this bag has a hefty chain, which is the whole reason I bought it. And sometimes I take this chain and actually wear it as a necklace. I do. So before I show you the next bag, I used to have a problem. I used to buy in threes. So, well, I still actually have that problem and I still buy in threes. Not as much, definitely not as often. So this is one of three. I bought it in three different colors, but this is a light shimmery gold metallic. And again, it has the chain detailing because as you all know, I'm obsessed. I don't even recall where I bought this bag, where I found it. It is absolutely gorgeous. I bought it because it has semi quilted look, but it's really not quilted. It's just the shape of it. And it has these studs with rhinestones and I thought it was lovely. So that's the first of three. The next one is the second of the three, and it is in black, again with the silver detailing and the rhinestones quilted, and it is rather spacious and comfortable to carry. They don't get used very often, but I love them very much as well, as I do all my other bags. The collection wouldn't be complete if I did not buy a silver one. So this is the silver one, and again, the detailing silver, and it is sparkly and pretty, and I love it as well. The next bag I have for you all is an Italian brand, and I am obsessed with this bag. The print, obviously, it's snake, and here we have an oversized zipper, and if you know anything about me, you will know that I am obsessed with oversized zippers, and I buy bags based on that. And this bag is very interesting. It comes with a built-in makeup bag, which keeps the bag structured, and I love it. And I could fit everything in this bag. I love the gold hardware with the snake print. It is a perfect combination. The next bag I have for you all is a Cynthia Raleigh. This bag is absolutely stunning and I am not really fond of brown. It is not one of my favorite colors, but this bag is the perfect shade of brown between the mixture of fabrics. I love the multi-textured. I love the multi-color, the grain accents. I should say the gold accents. It is a very spacious bag, incredibly soft, I have probably used this bag once and it has not come out of hiding. So I should be wearing this again. Like I should bring it out because it's so gorgeous. I just never do because I don't like switching up my bags that often, believe it or not, as many as I have. But that's the next one. The next bag I have for you is this bag from Marianelle and it is from Italy. Marianelle. Marinella, and it is a black leather bag with tassels, and I'm a sucker for tassels. I bought this bag so I could combine it with high heels that have a bunch of tassels, and it. I wore this bag for about nine months straight, and it was perfect, perfect traveling companion. It was low maintenance. I could kick it around, toss it around, and it withstood, let me tell you, not just the test of time, but the you know, rough handling of the bag. And I love it very much. And this one I plan to wear again because it's just low maintenance and I don't have to worry about it. The next bag I have to share with you all is a favorite of mine. This is a Bridget Schuster handbag. Now, I don't know if she makes handbags anymore, but she is an incredible or was an incredible handbag designer. She, I owned a few of her designs, but I gave, I've given them as gifts. This is a woven, a leather woven handbag, and it has these Austrian crystals that match perfectly. It's like an amber 
color with a tweed lining on the side and it has braided handles which can get a little painful because I put so much in the bag and it's just like digging into your shoulder but let me just tell you this is an absolute stunner of a bag and as you can see it is big I don't have this one stuffed but it is a very large bag and I am obsessed with it so the next bag is the Vera Valentino gold bag, which I filmed my second to the last what's in my bag. I love this bag. It is spacious, it is bold, it has gold chain detailing, which is pretty much everything I love. So if I could pour my personality into a handbag, it would probably be this liquid gold bag. The next bag I have for you all is a clutch, and this bag is so beautiful. I'm a little upset that it's getting a little dirty there, but it's gorgeous. You could see the orange, the orange, the combination of orange. It is multi-textured, suede, regular leather, the brown, the stitching is beautiful, it's orange. And I baby this bag because I don't want it to ruin, but I do wear it every so often, and it is gorgeous. It's very unique. It is Claudia Ferenzi, Ferenzi, made in Italy. So it is gorgeous, I love it, and I'm sure you all will too. The next clutch I have is very similar to the one I showcased in my last video, and it is just a wooden closure handbag, no name brand, but I loved the quilted aspect, and it is kind of like an accordion little clutch, and it's cute, I like it very much. Easy to combine with anything that you have in your closet. Can't go wrong with black, black clutch. The next little bag I have for you all is the bag I will be wearing tonight. So I thought I'd show you. I loved the gold chain detailing and the way it's structured. It is still, it's small, but it's spacious and it is a black denim and it's torn. It has little tears and white stitching, which I think adds the perfect element. And it has some woven leather, I don't think this is leather, but whatever it is, it just adds a little pop. So that is the next bag. So the next handbag I have for you all is this denim little bag. And I love it because you can't go wrong with bleach denim and gold hardware. I bought it so that I could embellish all the front and just make it look a little more unique. So the quilted aspect really was a selling point to me, but I love it very much. So the last and final bag I have for you all is this electric yellow Burberry handbag. This one was part of my what's in my bag maybe three years ago. I bought this Burberry bag right when it um, was showcased in their, I think, 2013 runway show. I was obsessed with this bag and I am still obsessed. The only problem I have is that it's super structured. So this is a delicate bag. And as you could see, this also has an oversized zipper, which is always a selling point to me. It has the Burberry keys in there and the Burberry lock, which actually works, but I never use it. And it is just the combination of the Burberry print with the graded metallic yellow makes this bag exquisite. It is certainly one of my favorites, although I don't have a favorite bag. I like my inexpensive bags as I do my designer bags, if you will. So that concludes the second part and the final part of my bag collection. I hope that you all enjoyed it and I should have more videos for you soon. So thank you for watching and I will see you again.